Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Newswatch. I'm Steve Altieri. Tonight's top story, the city of Rio in Brazil is being faced with a wave of crime on the city's beaches. Rio has been chosen to be the site of the 2016 Olympics. We're going to take it over to Janie Lynn Leak, who has more on the story. Janie. Thank you, Stephen. I am here at Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, which is usually a very relaxing vacation spot for many beachgoers. But recently, tourists have been under a very disturbing um, events with a lot of robberies going on and the uh, outbreak has, of, um, <laughs> of panic has set off after a lot of footage has been uh, released on national television with these miners have been robbing people, stealing their wallets and cell phones and the victims have been chasing after them as well as police officers. And it's <laughs> been quite a disturbance. And one situation, the police officer being pelted with sand took out a gun, scaring many tourists in this particular situation. These miners have been said to be taking buses from northern communities, which are known to be no-go-to no areas for travelers. And recently, they have posted 700 officers along the beaches and 17 roadblocks in hopes that this will make the area better. Steven? Now, Janie, do you believe that this will have an effect on those planning to travel to Rio for the Olympics? Yes, if it does not improve within the next 10 months, I believe tourists have been very scared, even though the beach operation has been implemented. They say they will be ready for the Olympics, but no guarantees that there won't be any more incidents. Reporting live from Rio de Janeiro, I'm Janie Leak for Newswatch. Thank you, Janie. Coming up on Newswatch, we will have a look at the weather with meteorologist Wayne Wilkins. Stay with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Newswatch. I'm Steve Altieri. Tonight's top story, the city of Rio in Brazil is being faced with a wave of crime on the city's beaches. Rio has been chosen to be the site of the 2016 Olympics. We're going to take it over to Janie Lynn Leak, who has more on the story. Janie. Thank you, Steven. I'm here at Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, which is usually a very nice vacation spot for beachgoers, and yes, is held, planning to hold the 2016 Olympics. But recently, they have been under a or many tourists have been under disturbance with multiple robberies being made by miners, and many have been set into a panic after footage has made a national broadcast with these miners running with individuals' wallets and cell phones, and the victims allegedly chasing after them along with police officers. In one situation, a police officer actually took out a gun after being pelted with sand, scaring many on the beach. More than 20 people have been arrested this past Sunday, and many of these miners have been apparently a part of gangs who are taking buses from a community up north, which is told to be a community that is a no-go for touristers. They have posted 700 officers along beaches and 17 roadblocks in hopes that they've sold better the area, Stephen. Now, Janie, do you believe this will have an effect on those planning to travel to Rio for the Olympics? Chief Jose Wells Jane did say that they have the um, a plan underway and hopes that and it will be um, ready for the Olympics, but no guarantees there will not be any more incidents. And I believe if this does not get any better within the next 10 years, that this will affect travelers for the Olympics. Thank Reporting you. live from Rio de Janeiro, I'm Jane Leak for Newswatch. Thank you, Janie. Coming up on Newswatch, we will have a look at the weather with meteorologist Wayne Wilkins. Stay with us. That's my bad. 